Hey guys, Vladimir here with another Fusion 360 Mini Tip Monday. And for today, I want to go over a tip I actually came across when trying to use the circular pattern tool in the modeling environment and why I decided to go with pattern on a path instead of the circular pattern tool. If you watched last week's video, I showed how I used the circular pattern tool within the sketching environment to create this star. Uh, and that was part of a, a bigger project where I was creating uh, all the stars here for uh, the US flag that I wanted to make and use my CNC machine to mill out. But let's say we want to make a different type of flag today. Let's say, oh, we'll choose the Cape Verdean flag. And if you note the Cape Verdean flag, it has this pattern of stars around in a circle. And each circle represents one of the islands. And just a little side note here and background into me. Uh, this is actually where I was born. I was born in the Cape Verde Islands, which are 10 islands located off the western coast of Africa. Uh, I was born there and then migrated to the US at an early age and now I live in the east coast. All right, back to the Fusion 360 tip. So let's look at using the circular pattern tool to create this pattern of the stars and you'll quickly see the challenge we're going to come across in a second. Okay, we'll continue with the star we made last week. So I'm going to create a sketch just on this top surface here. So we'll go to sketch, create sketch. I'll just choose that surface and I'm going to zoom out a bit and create a circle. So I'll go back to sketch and grab my center diameter circle. I'm just going to create a circle here. Um, roughly like 35 millimeters and I'm gonna take this circle let's line this up so that the center of the circle lines up with the point here of the star so we'll grab our vertical constraint here constraint between the center of our circle and the origin here or the center of our star and now that's locked in place we'll just take this and I'm just gonna move it up so it's uh, roughly lined up with that point doesn't need to be exact here okay now I'm gonna hit escape select my circle and I'm going to click X on my keyboard to make it a construction line and I'm going to go to stop sketch. Okay so that brings us back to our modeling uh, mode here and if you lost your sketch you can simply turn it back on with this little light bulb. So we'll bring that on. Now let's start with the circular pattern tool. We'll go to create down to pattern and then go to circular pattern. For pattern type we're going to change that from faces to bodies uh, our object is going to be our star and our axis is going to be the circle here. Okay, now we're going to increase the quantity to 10 because there's 10 stars equaling 10 islands and I'm going to click OK. Let's go to a front view and right away you see the problem that we have. So let me see if you guys can, uh, can spot it. So look at my pattern here and then let's look at the stars here on the flag. Do you see what the difference is? So you may have noticed that in, let's go back to the flag first. If the flag or on the flag, each of the top points on the stars all face up. So all of the stars are facing the same direction. And if I go back to my Fusion 360 model, notice that each of that top point here, um, they're basically perpendicular to my circle. So it doesn't give me what I want. These are all skewed. Um, so the circular pattern doesn't really work for this. If I bring the box back up, I don't see any other options here uh, to make it so that these are all facing the same direction. So I quickly realized this isn't going to work. So what are my other options? Well, let's try the pattern on the path tool. So I'm going to undo here until um, I get rid of the circular pattern here on my timeline and let's try pattern on a path so we'll go to create down to pattern and pattern on a path now with pattern on a path you can basically take any model and uh, pattern it on any path that you design so whether I want to make a squiggly line or, or whatever it is um, it'll work and it also works with circles so let's try this we'll bring our box here change our pattern type to bodies our object is going to be our star the path, we're going to select our circle and then we'll see, we'll get a little distance object here and we can take this arrow and just drag it and notice when I drag it the distance increases so I want to drag it all the way until it snaps back 
into the original position and it'll give me that full distance either here or right here. So once I have that full distance, I can go ahead and change that quantity to 10. And right away you see it gave me something completely different on the preview. So notice here now that each point on the star uh, points up, which exactly matches what I want here from the flag. So the nice thing with pattern on the path is you have a little more flexibility because if we go down here where you see orientation, notice I can change that from identical to path direction. And if I choose path direction, then it actually changes the direction of the star. So it basically gives me the same orientation as the circular pattern tool did where the stars are now uh, perpendicular to the circle. So that's not what I want. Um, I want identical. So it keeps them all in the identical position. So I'm going to click OK. And there we go. Let's remove that sketch. And that's exactly what I want. It turns out that's not exactly what I want. After I uploaded the video, Lego Freak correctly pointed out that I ended up with nine stars because the first and the last one overlapped. So I decided to fix that part and re-upload the video because I didn't want to leave you guys with the wrong info. So let's take a look at what went wrong. I'm going to go to my path on a pattern here on my timeline, right click and go to edit. And I can see I have the quantity set to 10, but you notice if I re uh, move this arrow here. I've set it to that first point and you can clearly see that first and that last star overlapping uh, which gives me nine stars instead of ten. So the quickest way to fix this is I'm just gonna change my quantity to 11 and I'm where I have that little check mark there I'm just gonna uncheck it because that's the suppress feature so if you can suppress any one of these and it'll just not make that particular item. So I'm going to suppress that last one because I don't want it to be there because it's simply going to overlap my first star. So that way I ended up with actually 10 stars. Okay, I'm going to click OK and that's a quick way to fix that problem. That's the quick tip for today. I wanted to show you this because you may um, come across this situation where it seems obvious in this case that you would want to use circular pattern because you know this is obviously a circle um, but if you're trying to keep each of the objects identical uh, in their positioning then you're going to want to go with pattern on a path okay i hope you enjoyed this tip um, make sure to uh, check in every week uh, every monday i'm going to do these little fusion 360 quick tips and i'll see you guys next week